nagkamali ako ng hula, ay tutulad ng hula.
that everyone here was never, uh, or some of us here, were never labeled as number one. It happens. Meantime, pangalaw lang tayo, it's a pangalaw. Almost is never enough. It happens. Yes. Pero, you know, it's about the mindset. A teacher of us, our teacher, our beloved teacher, once said, it's about the mindset. Win or learn. And we learn from it, ladies and gentlemen. We, we did not win all the time, but we learned from our failures. We learned from our mistakes. Sometimes things are just overwhelming. And some of us found refuge in tears. Some of us broke down mentally, emotionally, physically. Yet we learned from it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today because we learned from our mistakes. We are here today because we overcame defeat. We overcame those hardships, those breakdowns. We are here today because we have developed resilience. And of course, last but not the least, we have learned, or at least developed, love. What do I mean by this? Some of us found love in this institution. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I request everyone, tapikin niyo tao sa kanan niyo. Pasabi sa kanya, I love you. <laughs> Di ba? Ang sarap, ang, ang sarap mamahagi ng pag-ibig. Tama ba? Masarap magbahagi ng pag-ibig. And especially, especially, uh, there's this one kind of love that I have found in this institution and nowhere else in this institution alone. And that is the love for change and the love for our fellow Filipinos. Our founder, Jose Pinore, has built this institution from love, from his love of his fellow Filipinos. And ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to mark the beginning of our journey towards the service of our country. We are here today to proliferate love among our countrymen. And of course, this journey would not be possible without the people behind it. I would like to express, our, uh, on behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to express my utmost gratitude to the people behind this, our teachers. Please, let's give them a big round of applause. Our teachers who may seem strict at times, but they know what's best for us. They're doing what's best for us. Even though sometimes there are times that uh, I'm not gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be blunt with you. Sometimes we hate them. It happens, right? But they know what's best for us, and they do they do that for us. They filled our minds with indelible ideas, which we could use for good and only for good. Next. I would like to express my utmost gratitude to our dear parents and guardians who are proud witnesses here. Trust me. Let's give them a big round of applause. We will never be here without them. Can you all agree on that? We will never be here without our parents and guardians. Yes. And of course, I would like to thank the non-teaching staff who aided us in uh, achieving our goals for this school year and for the past school year. Please, let's give them a round of applause. The security guards, the cleaning staff, everyone. They deserve recognition, and we are here today to recognize their efforts. Thank you. And of course, last but not the least, we must express our gratitude to the people who, who actually made this happen, to the people who dreamt or dreamt about being here today, to the people who worked for this all year, us. Fellow graduates, we need our best. We are here today because, again, we deserve this. We are here today to celebrate the fruits of our labor, those sleepless nights and the tears we cried. We cry. This is the manifestation of those things. We conquered everything in our way and we will conquer more. 
Today is just the beginning. And as we end this ceremony, I would like to leave you with a quote from one of our teachers. It's actually a paraphrased quote. But here's how it goes. I would like to remember this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not future leaders, but we are the leaders of the future. Thank you. Thank you.